Hey guys, Chris here, Morgan Pipes, and I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I was notified by Scott of Aristocob a little while ago that he was going to be putting on this Cobb Foolery contest, um, and he sent me a few cobs to kind of play around with, and I'll be competing in the Pro-Am section of it for professional carvers, but... He asked if I would do a video or two on if I were to do this, how would I go about it? So, basically what he's got, and I believe he's selling these now, uh, the disassembled cobs, would be, uh, you know, your standard Danish-style stem from the um, Missouri Prides, and that is fitted for a filter, of which I can't find right now, because I didn't use one. Um, and I'm not a big filter guy, so I don't use them ever anyway. But uh, a shank with the ferrule attached. And then a cob. And these are not drilled for the shank. Like I said, Scott has these... Uh, I think he made a deal with, with uh, Phil Morgan over at Missouri Mirror. And uh, I guess they're going to be getting these in stock at Aristocob, so you guys can start with something fresh uh, instead of having to break apart cobs. But um, normally, you know, you're looking at something like this on a cob. And the cool thing is, since these aren't drilled for a shank, I mean, you can drill it at any angle you want, uh, do like a cutty sort of thing. And, you know, that's basically the standard approach. Uh, if you don't have a drill press, by the way, these aren't too difficult to drill. You just need to get a really nice sharp bit, preferably new. Um, these are tapered slightly. So if you drill, I think this is a 3 8 roughly, uh, you can just jam it in there and it'll be fine. So there's that. Now if you wanted to get a little more fancy, you could keep the shank and the, the bowl and make your own stem. Uh, you could add an acrylic stem, you can add a vulcanite stem. Uh, that's one way of doing it. The other options would be changing the shank material. Um, there's a lot of guys that use uh, bamboo. In fact, I'll show you something. This is one way that I have modified my cobs. And just because it, it makes it quite a bit lighter. Um, this is a Missouri Pride that I cracked the shank off of, put a uh, one of the small stems. I know I, I'm really bad with these stems. I chew the crap out of them. But, uh, you know, I ended up fitting the ferrule on the end of the bamboo, and it enables it to sit. So, there's that. That's another way of doing it. Um, this is the way I did it. I, I wanted to come at it, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies, come at it from a very purist standpoint, you know, use only what Scott gave me to the best of my ability. There were a few additions, but they're all basic. Um, I like to do a lot of reverse calabash stuff. So, I came up with this. And this is your, I believe it's a general main cob that I refitted with the briar plug. This is in no way finished. I have a few adjustments to make still. Um, and then fitted, I re-trimmed this so that it's actually a little more sleek and took off a lot of the fuzz. Um, and then put a plug in the bottom of that and then chuck this up on the lathe and drilled it out to fit this side of it. Um, and then the the it's hard to show, but inside, actually at the bottom there, there is a briar bottom, which is uh, completely drilled as if it would be you know a normal pipe that I would make. So it does have a conical bottom as opposed to the flat Missouri mirror bottom. Um, and pretty much from about 10% of the bowl down, uh, it's all briar. 
so that whole bottom will never burn out. And uh, the other side of it would be sort of the receiving end, and that's basically a piece of uh, bamboo root, and then a briar uh, tenon, and then you can fit it. I drilled it so that you can fit the normal um, the normal stems in it. I actually like these stems. Um, I'd chew the hell out of them, but they're kind of, I don't know, they're unrestricted, which is kind of nice. And that's pretty much the way I did it. Very simple. Um, sort of like a, you know, good reading pipe. Movies, etc., etc. And actually it kind of tastes like corn, which is funny. But that's the way I would do it. If you guys need any help, um, post a comment. It's fairly straightforward. There's not a whole lot that you guys need to do uh, if you're going to be, you know, adorning it with all kinds of different metals and stuff like that. It's, you know, you're going to need a metal lathe. You're going to need, um, you know, heavier equipment. But for the vast majority, you know, you can do this with just a drill and a knife. I mean, I used a lathe to kind of cut the recess for the, um, for the ferrule and the taper for the end so that it popped in nice. But pretty straightforward. Uh, I personally am not going to stain or even wax the cobs just because there's a lot of surface area and uh, you gotta remember cobs are ridiculously porous. Um, so that's just kind of my way to do it. I mean, I, I actually don't even like this finish from Missouri Mirror, that solid finish. I like the, the real raw, fluffy stuff. I don't know why it kind of feels fun. But anyway, that's my two cents, and um, good luck.